tell me about how important it is to be able to have this life-saving equipment at hand. Okay, it, it's a vitally important machine to be able to use. And speaking from my own patient experience, I, I know how vital it was that I had the best medical care that helped me to survive a sudden cardiac arrest. Hence why I was working with Virgin Media to help to raise this awareness because they've got already 500 driver who have already been trained to use CPR. They're also carrying a portable defibrillator within the band with them as well. Okay, so it's not just about the CPR, is it? It's about the defibs as well and people being confident enough to use them because it's not hard, but you do think, oh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do this right. Yeah, I, I think it's important that once you learn how to use it, you have the confidence to be able to do it. You know, it's not about just doing, you know, you have the defibrillator, but also learning how to do CPR. It giving a, a patient and a, a, a huge percentage chance of surviving inside of cardiac arrest. So, as I said earlier, that every, I think, fan of 500, 500 drivers have been trained to do CPR. They're able to use it and they're able to do the, the, the manual work they need to do in, a, in order for you to survive a sudden cardiac arrest. Okay. So if somebody collapses in front of you and you need to do yeah. CPR, what, what are the top tips that you would offer people? Stay calm. Do the right thing. If you're trained to do, to do it, you know what to do. You need to do the basic, lift his head up. If you're going to do the, the, the chest stuff, you've got to make sure you press as hard as you can. Don't mind if you crack the rib as long as you keep pressing and be able to call 999 before you do anything else. Just call 999 and start doing the compressing stuff. If you have a defibrillator nearby, use it as quickly as you possible as well. Mm. Yeah, I think it's to, the, it's to staying alive, isn't it? It's that sort of um, pace that you need to do. And it's, it's quite hard work. You have to press down the rib cage quite a long way. As you said, it, you need to not worry about uh, cracking a rib because you can live with a cracked rib. You can't live with a heart that's been stopped. Sometimes it's useful as well to have these defibrillators nearby. Are they easy to use? They're, they're, they're straightforward. Well, I think once you open a defibrillator, it will explain to you exactly where, where to put the pad on and when to give a shock and when not to give a shock. It's straightforward, Kay. Yeah, and it actually talks to you, doesn't it? So it basically tells you whether a shock is needed or not. So you can't give people a shock if, 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 it's, if it's not required. So uh, people should be pretty confident about using those. When you see... I don't know, things like happened to Christian Eriksen during the Euros. And of course, we saw a fan in the stands, I think, in Newcastle the other day as well, who needed a defib in order to um, stay alive. Does that take you back to the time around when you were poorly? Yeah, it's almost like um, it just shows that I'm very grateful that on that day I had the, you know, the best medical care that I could ask and wish for. And also they all came together work work under, you know, under pressure to be able to get me from the pitch to the hospital and also having the access to a defibrillator and good medical care, as I mentioned earlier, it helped me to, you know, make a, a, a decent recovery. As you can see in the summer that with Christian Erickson being able to, the captain of the national team coming in to doing the CPR on him before the medical staff do, you know, use a defibrillator. The Newcastle fan, you know, you've got a doctor next to him doing a CPR on him before a defibrillator came in. So as you can see, it's a vital skill to have and will encourage adults to learn how to do it and also have an access to a defibrillator, which is always, always helpful. Mm. What's life mean to you now, given that you were so close to losing it? I'm, I'm grateful. I'm, I'm thankful. I, I get to, you know, enjoy spending time with my family, my children, be able to do things that I, you know, that, you know, in, if we speak in... If he's, if he's speaking the way we wanted to speak, I should not be here. So for me, it's every single day, it's, you know, good to set, enjoy it as, as much as you can. Well, you're looking incredibly well and it's great to see. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us. Thank you. Thank you.